Grammar 4. Chapter 18. Reduction of Adverb Clauses to Modifying Adverbial Phrases. The Learning Objectives. By the end of this chapter, you will be able to understand the fundamental principles of reducing adverb clauses, demonstrate the ability to change time clauses to modifying adverbial phrases, express cause and effect in modifying adverbial phrases, and use upon plus ing in modifying adverbial phrases. Introduction to modifying adverbial phrases. One of the first things you need to know is that you would omit the subject of the dependent clause and the B form of the verb. For example, let's look at adverb clause A. While Ahmed was walking to class, he ran into an old friend. The modifying phrase of this adverbial clause would be, while walking to class, Ahmed ran into an old friend. Another example would be, if there is no B form of a verb, you would omit the subject and change the verb to ing. For example, let's look at example C, the adverb clause. Before I left for soccer practice, I ate lunch. Now, omit the subject. Before leaving for soccer practice, I ate lunch. Let's look at the clause. Since Hassan came to this country, he has made many friends. As we know, we are admitting the subject. Since coming to this country, Hassan has made many friends. Let's look at the clause. After he had finished his homework, he went to bed. Let's look at the modifying phrase. After finishing his homework, he went to bed. Or, after having finished his homework, he went to bed. And he went to bed after finishing his homework. Continuing on with the introduction, use upon plus ing in the modifying phrase. For example, we have the clause, when I reached the age of 18, I received my first car. Now using upon, it would sound like, upon reaching the age of 18, I received my first car. Or, on reaching the age of 18, I received my first car. An adverb clause can be changed to a modifying phrase only when the subject of the adverb clause and the subject of the main clause are the same. Or, no change is possible if the subjects of the adverb clause and the main clause are different. For example, these are examples of no change possible. An example G. While the teacher was lecturing to class, I fell asleep. There is no change possible. An example H. While we were walking at home, a frog hopped across the road in front of us. Sometimes while is omitted, but the ing phrase at the beginning of the sentence gives the same meaning. For example, while walking down the street, I ran into an old friend. Example C gives the same meaning. Walking down the street, I ran into an old friend. Examples D and E are also similar. Because is not used in a modifying phrase. It is omitted. But the resulting phrase expresses a cause and effect relationship. Let's look at these. In F, because he needed some money to buy a book, Ahmed cashed a check. In G, it is omitted. Because is omitted, but it gives the same meaning. It's the same cause and effect relationship. Needing some money to buy a book, Ahmed cashed a check. Now, let's look at L. Because he was unable to afford a car, he bought a bicycle. But in M, being unable to afford a car, he bought a bicycle. Also in N, unable to afford a car, he bought a bicycle. Let's move on to having plus the past participle. This gives the meaning not only of because, but also of before. Let's look at example J. Having seen that game before, I don't want to go again. Or K, having seen that game before, I didn't want to go again. 